Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today we are back to solid gold mode with a spicy gameplay I'm not gonna lie I'm really enjoying this mode right now mainly because the matchmaking here is perfect I feel like it has a good balance between real players and bots it's not too hard but also not too easy I'll also share an info regarding the crosshairs which is why do crosshairs change sometimes from looking like this to this you can notice that on the left the lines are not connected to the dot but on the right side it's all connected like a plus sign if you're here for the answer then skip to the time shown on the screen because the answer involves part of the gameplay and i don't want to spoil it for the viewers that enjoy watching it and at the same time i don't want to waste the time of the viewers that are here for the answer but anyway you don't want to miss the game especially at the start and the end as it was a bit intense and one of the squads in this game wanted to kill me so badly and i actually heard them say that on their mics well i don't really understand their language but I asked a friend to translate for me because the enemy was talking faster than Eminem in Rap God. So I really wanted to know what he said and what made him talk that fast. Anyway, enough wasting time and let's jump into the gameplay. Since highlighted areas doesn't matter in this mode, I mostly land far. You can land in the middle of nowhere and still get the best loot. And that's another reason why I love this mode. And you know what? I was extra lucky this game as I found an MX9 and M4 hugging each other. Followed by a level 3 vest on the top floor and an adrenaline in the next house. So I was ready and I just went in right away. You can see that the crosshairs kept changing in the last fight and the reason for that is the QRF mod and what it does is increase your gun's accuracy whenever you damage your enemies and that includes the hipfire accuracy. So here I used it on my MX9 and notice before engaging the crosshairs were looking like this and as soon as I started damaging the first enemy it turned into a plus sign and that indicates that the QRF mod started working and your gun's accuracy is boosted and it will remain boosted as long as you keep damaging your enemies. And then notice here that it was back to the original shape which means that the the boost is over because I stopped damaging enemies. I tried to calculate the duration of the boost but it's not fixed. I'm not 100% sure but I think it depends on how long you damage the enemy. Dealing continuous damage increases the duration of the boost. Like in here I dealt a lot of damage knocking 3 enemies so the boost lasted around 20 seconds. Compared to the end where I damaged 1 enemy and it gave me a 10 seconds boost only. So anyway back to the game, I finished that fight in a perfect time for the first airdrop. And by the way the first airdrop in this mode is delayed compared to the normal mode. So it arrives after 5 minutes instead of 3 minutes. So I upgraded my class then I headed towards the airdrop but I was a little bit late. I decided to take this fight here because I had this perfect high ground advantage. Throw some cluster grenades to destroy their chopper, split them apart and maybe get some kills.
That's an ADS glitch. Sometimes when I ADS, it gets stuck and I can't close it. I'm sure many of you are facing this too. And luckily for me, no one was near me. I waited for the teammate for a bit, but he didn't show up. So I moved on to another area, which is launch base. And I got two free kills on the way. Here I think there were three squads already fighting, including a squad that had two tanks. So I replaced my AK with an FHJ. I tend to do that when I'm facing two tanks at the same time because it's hard to destroy them with cluster grenades from close range. Especially if they're in the hands of good players because they can cover each other easy. And by the way, the squad that had the tanks is the same squad that wants to kill me. I feel like the last squad were nervous. They were getting many kills throughout the game, but in the end they were afraid to push and when they did, they came to me one by one, giving me an easy fight. Another good tips here before I end the video. First one I already mentioned in another video. When I'm being rushed from the sky, I pretend I don't see the enemy and just before they land, I jump or slide and jump away from them. This will surprise them and also I manage to avoid or minimize the damage in case they have a shotgun. And for the last enemy, just before I got stunned, I saw him moving to the right. So I started shooting that direction, killing him fast because he was a bit damaged from the zone and also thanks to the mx9 hipfire accuracy i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did as always a like would be highly appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace